welcome to another video in Power BI on the channel. We are going to be continuing today's video to complete our design as we did in the last video. We created the home button, a uh, home page, and the visuals page. Now today we are going to be creating a tables view. Tables view will be about these visuals translated into table form so that we get more insights and better understanding of data because sometimes in some cases you don't want to see the visuals and graphs and charts so you just want the tabular data so we are going to be just duplicating this page and after that we will start transforming all the visuals into tables and metrics let's rename this and call it table view let's select the first visual and we will straight away go into changes to table view from our visuals panel and start editing some format sync <clears throat> so let's select the colors color schemas and all of that that we are going to be using So let's get to the format page and start editing our visual so that it looks a bit uh, nicer and uh, a bit more uh, adaptable to the design we have gone through so we're going to be changing this um, let's start with the border let's change it to the darker dark blue I'm going to be changing the background We're going to be changing the background to the one that we have gone through the whole scenario. Change this one as well. And we're going to be changing the text color to dark blue and pink. So I change the background instead. Let's change the font to Arial as well. We're gonna increase the row padding so it just it's a bit more spread out uh, throughout the whole thing, and let's increase the font size to eleven, and let's get to this one's a good as well. We're gonna be doing dark blue. Let's go to the column headers and change the colors to dark blue background. The whole section is quite similar to what we are going to change the font to Arial. We're going to align the header to the left. Let's go to the total and change the colors again. We're going to be going with the pink color. And I think this is nicer, this is better. I'm gonna just spread these columns a bit more so it takes up more space and gets more spread out. If I could select it, that is. really hard sometimes to just select it and increase the uh, width of the columns in table view yeah there we go this much and we'll increase this one as well we're going to left align the values so that it is much better looking instead so let's go select the table and go to the format page and specific columns I'm going to say headers, all of them left aligned. Same with the other two columns as well, left aligned. Grow sales. Let's say left aligned. So, yeah, it looks a bit nicer. Let's change the next column and let's translate this into 
table as well select the table we're going to be repeating the same steps and applying the same formats same color schema Change the font to Arial throughout, increase the size, text color to blue, then background to the one that we are using throughout. Let's spread this out. Let's change the column header now. We could change the column header to the same one that we are going through. Increase the size, font size that is. Let's go to the specific column now and align to the left. Same with the other two columns. Forgot about the total, so let's change that as well. Text color to pink. Yep, it looks much better. Now let's change this one. We will change this tone chart and uh, it at the last. Again, repeating the same process of converting these into the same value that we have gone through. This view the five values. Aerial phone increasing in color be blue then pink sorry background this one font color this and background to this and let's go to the column headers change the font to aerial increase the size text color we're going to be using the blue one background to as we have gone through, let's increase the width of the columns. Total and change the total color to pink as we have done. There was a specific column and left align these. Much better. Now let's get it. Uh, yep, much better. Okay, I forgot to enter the uh, titles for him. So let's go and do that as well because without that, it doesn't make sense. Let's just toggle the title on. Uh, let's go and check it out what title was this one it is gold sales and profit by product let's copy this let's paste this here let's change this donuts chart now so we are going to be removing one of the mm, chart, the middle part, let's move it so that we can convert it and we'll add the profit field uh, into this so that 
we have our two columns that we were using because in table we don't need those two let's spread this out a little bit and after that after spreading this out we're going to be applying the uh, formatting to it as we have done with all of them increase the row padding to 6 again going with the values take the font size to 11 background let's change the colors and backgrounds for the text colors and backgrounds column header now let's change the font to area and create the font size to 11 and change the whole thing we're going to be aligning them as we have done throughout with specific columns and let's left align all of them left align them so and the less of going to general and turn on the title as well so there it is uh, just converting those visual into table views so that it is much more inside the numbers if you want to just check and see the numbers instead of just uh, uh, visuals that we are going to be providing the effects let's attach some links as well Uh, let's play navigation destination visuals page same with the home one this guy is already attached let's go back to the visuals page and attach the links here as well and action going to page navigation in table view and let's go to the home page and assign the link here as well and table view so we have link that's now we can navigate through and this as we click on the link we can see that we will go to the table view and if we see here visuals view we'll go back to the visual view and you will get the visuals so there it is um this is how you can convert your visuals to table view so it is gives you more insights into the data as compared to visual the visuals are basically for the good look and if you want some more insights and if you want the more insights and more detailed views of the data and the numbers we, we can do that and we convert this to tables fields so that it provides us more insights into our data and provides more information more clarity if if for some reason uh, someone your client your people are not understanding the visuals we can do this as well so that it provides another view about our data and gives more clear information regarding it so thank you for watching the today's video if you liked it and learned it please leave a like and subscribe i will see you in the next one thank you take care goodbye